hey, hey, guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out, guys. Today we are building this really cool and simple house directly on a desert island, fully equipped with all of the stuff you need to start off your Minecraft adventure. Does that sound awesome, guys? Because if it does, then I guess grab your favorite beverage, grab your popcorn, and let's get this thing started. Alright guys, so we've built quite a few bases in the past couple of weeks and today, well we're not switching it up that much, but instead I wanted to have a go at a really cool starter house that you can build in your first couple of nights in Minecraft. I've done something like this in the past, but I've never really tried building a house in the desert. Unless, you know, you count that small one from my three simple starter homes video that I did a long, long time ago. But regardless, I think the desert is an interesting place to build a house because first off, the color palette that you have to work with is really vibrant and you can create a lot of contrast between the bright sand and in our case, the dark spruce that we are using. And also, I guess if you have a look at it from a survival perspective, the desert is a lot more challenging to start off with, since all of the wood that you want to use here would, I guess, have to be cut down from another biome. But hey, you know what? It is a challenge, I guess, or? <laughs> so yeah, today the house pretty much features all of the stuff you'd need to start off the first couple of nights in Minecraft, including some storage, an enchanting setup, some brewing stands, and of course, a bed to sleep in. Outside, you'll find a really nice wheat field so that you also have a source of food when you're out adventuring. I was actually toying around with the idea of adding a nether portal somewhere, for example, the side of the hill close to the house, but I actually opted against that since I didn't feel like it would look good for a build here. At the end of the day, I think the house should be the primary focus, and I think that a nether portal somewhere would have just felt out of place. That's at least, you know, my opinion. Which doesn't mean that you can't add one, of course, if you decide to replicate this build in your own worlds. So yeah, that is pretty much what is happening in this video. And there is something which I'd like to address and also get your feedback on now. So recently I asked you guys in a poll whether or not you would like to see a fishbowl based series. And for those who don't know what, is, what that is about, Basically what I do is build an epic inverted fishbowl somewhere in the ocean and then have you guys comment on what we should build next in that area. And if you're lucky, you'll get your idea featured in one of the videos. <laughs> so yeah, first off, I, I gotta say thanks for all of the amazing feedback on that poll. The support for starting that series is around 85%, which is really incredible and I think honestly that is really high. I know I can't please everyone on this channel, but I think that all of us together would really have a blast working on another build together again, I think. And yeah, I guess this is also somewhere where I get the first feedback from you guys for that series. I originally wanted to release the first episode today, but I simply can't make up my mind on which direction I want to take the fishbowl in. So my thought was, as a little twist this time, instead of having the inside of the fishbowl covered with grass and lush bills like we did in the previous one, we could try something a little different, I guess. And the two ideas I had in mind were either an epic desert in the fishbowl, which would create a lot of contrast with the ocean, or, as another idea, we could also create a really cool mesa where I think the stained clay or, you know, the terracotta, which I think they call it now, will also be a really interesting color palette to work with. And honestly, guys, I really can't make up my mind which one it should be. So instead of deciding myself, I'll just turn it over to you guys. That's right. So, yeah, I guess leave your feedback in the comment section whether you would like to see a mesa or a desert fishbowl. Or, you know, if you're feeling creative, comment something else. It is always great to hear your feedback on all of the stuff that we're working on on this channel. Anyways, I think that is going to be it from me today. I have rambled on enough, so if you like the video, make sure to like the video. And I guess the only thing left for you to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the time lapse. 